Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is beat that like button like it owes you money before watching this, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor. If you're surfing the internet alone without a VPN, then you're surfing with Justin Skippy Trudeau. I use MetVPN to hide my location from the Canadian government, to keep my freedom of speech as well as to sail the high seas and download movies and TV shows without potentially getting sued by lawyers. MetVPN offers unlimited data traffic, no logs, a kill switch, in case your VPN temporarily goes offline, and it's only $2.45 a month on a 24-month plan. Keep your online activities private and free. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, a woman in Greece sends fire to the country to watch the firefighters and flirt with them. She's responsible for at least two wildfires, and all she got was a 36-month sentence and a thousand euro fine. A man probably would have received 36 years in prison. Think of all those poor squirrels that became squirrel kebabs. But seriously, this just proves that women will do anything to avoid making the first move. She will still blame climate change though even though they have footage of her setting those fires. Moving on, this woman is complaining because men are free to carry boomsticks while women are forced to carry. As far as I'm concerned, women will destroy civilization with low fertility rates. No one is forcing them to bump uglies with Jamal and Jamie. Besides, haven't they heard of the condom and the pill before? Without immigration, the majority of Americans would become Amish and Mormon by the end of the next century, because no one is reproducing right now. Number three, Kamala is 59, and Laura is only 31. Yet Trump is hanging around with her for some reason. With regards to Laura, I haven't seen so much plastic since I flew over the Pacific Ocean. Also, here's a bunch of pictures of Laura preparing for the election year perch. Up next in the original Star Wars trilogy, everyone had a somewhat defined role. The pilot, the knight, the leader, the mechanic, and knowledge. But in the sequel trilogy, Rey Soywalker fills all five of those roles, and she's surrounded by three male sidekicks for nostalgia and comic relief. This is painfully accurate and a perfect example of the Mary Sue. But in the original trilogy, I think that R2 was the real mechanic and Chewie was just the muscle. Number five, the demon crad governor of Camerado, Jared Paulus, tells citizens to ignore the migrant gangs, taking over their apartment blocks. This is what he used to look like when he used to go by the name he was born with, Jared Schultz. Why did he change it? Why is he ashamed of his background? Also, how did a dork that used to look like this get elected as governor? I guess Democrats vote blue no matter who. Moving on, everything changes once you wake up. I was shown this clip from They Live in my pop culture class back in 1997 to wake me up from the mass media manipulation I was facing, and it worked, and I became aware of how the system wanted me to consume, conform, and obey. This is actually the first thing that woke me up. Also, a book called Captains of Consciousness explaining how Edward Varnese manipulated the masses with advertising and propaganda. It's by an author named Ewan Stewart. Number seven, this Chinese company wants to see no blacks and big boobs in its films and games. Looks like this company actually wants to make some money. They probably didn't want to see obese and trans people in their content either. You know the West has done when the largest communist country on earth is more base than they are. I also wonder what their cup size minimum is in the chesticles in their games. Up next, Finland is following in the footsteps of Canada announcing that they'll let 300,000 Indians into the country's cities. And if the program is successful, then they'll expand it by flooding rural Finland with Indians too. I really hope this is fake news, but Canada will let that many Indians in during the next 12 months alone. But Indians are good because they have many talents, including telemarketing, cell phone sales and repair, and cart pushers at my local Costco. So all is good. Number nine, this article asks, why do rich people love quiet? Because in order to think of ways to make more money constantly, noise is a distraction that prevents you from doing that thinking. And not only rich people, but men in general like silence, and they tend to be richer than women. With all the silence in rich neighborhoods, gentrification sounds like heaven to me. The better question to ask is, why are poor people so noisy? Moving on, Billy Ellish says, men don't will get criticized for their bodies because girls are nice. I like to know which universe women are nice in. Can I go there? Women will gaslight you with a smile. That's about the height of their niceness. Women shame virgins, short guys, bald guys, fat guys, poor guys, and ugly guys. What else am I missing here? 
Men's bodies are usually the first thing that women make fun of when they reject us. Number 11, the most terrifying capability of the U.S. military is the ability to deploy a fully operational Burger King to any war zone in less than 24 hours. You just know that truck is loaded with 100% flame-broiled democracy. Nothing is better for morale than this because you know that the farts on the onion rings are devastating to the enemy. This war is brought to you by Burger King. Have it your way. Tactical Whopper deployed. Up next, up next, when Randy and Autumn got together, he bought a puppy and she cheated on him and took his dog. And now he wants it back. If a woman takes a man's dog, then shouldn't he have the right to be legally allowed to go full John Wick on her? Autumn cheated on him and yet she demanded reparations in the form of his canine. Looks like the shaming didn't work and she ended up keeping the dog after all. Number 13 women say that a woman's body count doesn't matter, but when you ask them to share that number, they lose their minds. If you have enough to call it a body count, then it definitely matters. It also matters because over a certain count, she's no longer going to be able to bond with any man. This woman looks like she's full of semen demons. Around number 3 or 4, something starts to break. In the latest series, Starlight looks scarier than Homelander. Moving on, watching Falling Down while I was younger, I thought, what's this guy's problem? As an adult, I finally get it. He was living out the fantasy of every divorced working guy back then to go postal and blow off some steam. Reimagine making this today. Your wife is dying from a forced fax. A school is trying to trans your son. Your job is trying to fire you and replace you with an illegal immigrant. As your female manager is trying to get you with the false allegation. Most of us would love to see that. Number 15 America isn't ready for another war because it doesn't have the troops. Maybe that's because the army has been trying to recruit girls who have two lesbian moms instead of masculine straight white males. Maybe the girls with lesbian moms need to go to the front lines. Maybe the modern American army would have a fighting chance if it fought via feminist slam poetry. Maybe they should go try recruiting some more barren cat ladies or something. Up next, this guy is facing a dead bedroom scenario and hatred from his wife, as she was cheating on him with her ex, who was a psychopath and emotional abuser but she was probably his alpha widow and couldn't get over him. So that's why she went back to him. Remember guys, if she's not getting it from you, she's getting it from somebody else. Also never go through an alpha male's garbage trying to find a mate. It'll never work. Number 17, former spicy film star Lana Rhodes says she wants all of her old videos deleted. Yeah, and I want a pony, but that's not going to happen either. What she and every woman really wants is to have their past deleted so they could actually have their honor back. Too bad for her that the internet is forever and that there are too many weirdos out there with files on her and their external hard drives. Every woman with Thanos surpassed if she could. Moving on, would you smash her? Some people say she's space alien hot. I say that Ella is trashy hot here with a little bit of train wreck hot here and there and looks great. Is this her casting couch photo where she auditioned for her role in Fallout or something? The only thing I don't like about her are those tattoos but with people getting so many of those these days, she's practically a tattoo virgin. Number 19, apparently this lady is calling the police because someone asked her if she was Samuel L. Jackson's sister. Maybe they figured out a way to clone Samuel L. Jackson's character from Jurassic Park. And just like the dinosaurs, they messed up the genome and turned him female instead of male. But looking at her again though, I think this is more like James Earl Jones. Rest in peace. Up next, there's talk about doing an all-female fight club. But do you know why it wouldn't work? Because women literally would not be able to stop talking about it or be capable of keeping it a secret. Who do you think they'll hire as a woman to play the female version of Tyler Durden? Who do you think that's going to be? Number 21, what do you call this haircut? I don't know, but you have to work real hard to look this ugly. Maybe we should call it the cancer mullet or the skinhead girl cut. How about calling it the man hater or the liberal? Women think getting haircuts like this is going to upset men. We laugh at them and then continue going on about her business. If you listen closely, you can hear her parents arguing as to why they didn't use condoms. Moving on, what happened in 1971? Productivity and compensation for workers decoupled. I'll tell you what happened. Women started entering the workforce en masse. The market was flooded by workers, so companies profited from the increasing labor supply. And also the gold peg was taken away from the dollar and inflation began to soar. While wages didn't keep up with it, making everyone poor. Then you also had lower taxes for the wealthy in the 80s and outsourcing in the 90s. They continued this trend. 
Number 23, Mark Hamill, says that Trump is a sociopath, and he feels like it's his patriotic duty to oppose him. You are mistaken, Luke. Turn to the woke side you have. That demented sociopath put more money in the pockets of the workers in his first term and protected their jobs by putting tariffs on China. If Trump is such an awful sociopath, then why did the Democrats keep the Chinese tariffs? Mark is ruining his legacy getting involved in politics. Up next, 98% of straight men refuse to perform fellatio on a feminine penis because they hate trans women. Whatever happened to my body, my choice? But those are rookie numbers. Surely we can get those up to 100%. And also here's a newsflash that 2% of men aren't exactly straight. What I want to know is, why are the black ones the largest? Can we just avoid the stereotypes already? Number 25 and the last one here is the future of women's delusions. They will still only settle for a man that's six feet tall with six pack abs and that earns six figures, even when men move on to fembots. And that robot will cost well under six figures with a one-time payment. I don't know about you, but I'll definitely be getting a robot version of the girl that bullied and spread rumors about me in high school. The amount of cat ladies in the coming generations will be off the scales. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making it, then donate it to PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.